Hi everyone, it's Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing fantastic today and thank you for joining me as I show you my room. Man, I have not done a room tour in so long, um, mostly because the places I lived have been very temporary and I haven't been able to like decorate them or make them my own space, but I just moved into this wonderful space that I can make fully my own and I'm so excited to show you guys what I've done. Also, you guys will have to excuse my voice. I am a little sick, but it kind of sounds sexy, am I right? Gunther, be a good little boy, give me a whiskey. <laughs> if you get that reference, I love you. So first things first, I painted the walls. My goal of this space was to make it a place of comfort and a place where I could be creative and my authentic self. And in this stage of life, I really resonate with this peachy pink. It feels like a sunset, it feels like a warm hug. It feels like my soul at this stage in my life. It feels feminine, it feels divine. It was just what I needed right now. So I guess we'll start off with the bed. I got this bed frame from Ikea. I got the mattress from Ikea. I have a layer of memory foam on top of my mattress. So my bed is like the most comfortable thing in the whole world. And these sheets, I'm so excited about these sheets. I just recently invested in them, got them off Amazon. I have an entirely silk gold silk sheet set so the fitted sheet is gold silk the other sheet is gold silk all the pillowcases are gold silk last year i bought like a set of silk pillowcases because i heard it's good for your skin and your hair and then ever since then i've like fallen in love with the material of silk and i have so many more clothing items that are just silk and it's it feels so right on my body. So I invested in these sheets so now I can fall asleep and sink into the silk. <laughs> and it looks beautiful as well. And I found this kind of like pink silk throw from Value Village. It was just in the fabric section. This bedside table I got from Ikea as well. It's been really functional because it has like the two layers to it and it's pretty open and stuff. So the bottom layer I use for like utility, functional things like wires, cords, chargers, speakers, all that. And the top is just for like phone, water, crystals, duh, some nice candles. And I found this lamp at Ikea as well and I spray painted the base so it was gold. And then this little corner of my room is where I put my instruments. Um, just so they're accessible to me anytime I feel like jamming out. Then I have these two little tables that I also got from Ikea. One of them is just for holding books and my lava lamp, and the other one is like this shrine that I made for my spiritual tools and needs. It has all my crystals, an oracle deck, incense, sage, cedar, palo santo, and this beautiful plant that I found from this cute shop across the street. Uh, and above it are these two pictures of myself. Is, is that like, I have like five pictures of myself in my room. Like maybe I'm a narcissist, I don't know. But I really enjoy these pictures. One of them is a picture of my aura. I went to an aura photographer in the summer. And so this is a picture of my aura at that moment. And then the other one is a picture of me laying in the sun because I'm a little sun puppy and that's just like the perfect representation of me. And then, yeah. And then this comfy chair with the beautiful fabric. And then on the wall above that are two painting studies that I made for a class that I really enjoy and I think they fit into the overall color scheme. And then I have my dresser. I got like the bottom part from Ikea. The mirror I got from Value Village, including those candle holders also from Value Village. Most of the things on this dresser are from Value Village. But yeah, we got all, all of the necessities. Uh, creams, lotions, perfumes, a good candle. I love this like vanity dresser area. I think it looks so elegant. I feel like royalty every time I look in the mirror. And I did spray paint the frame for this mirror as well. And then I have my desk. I found this desk on Kijiji and I believe it originates from Ikea. Yeah, this is a great space. I didn't have a desk in my last space, which really was like not it. <laughs> I love to be able to sit down and work on a surface and I was working on the floor at my last place and it like hurt my body so much. So it feels good to like have a proper desk area. Underneath it, I have this like little shelving unit full of art supplies. I have a big bucket of paint and I have my printer, I have my closet, and it goes really deep so it's like the perfect storage space. Oh, also my room leads to the balcony which is the coolest thing. Um, I would show you guys like a nice panoramic view, but it's currently minus 20 in Canada and like the snow is so high that I can't even open the door all the way, so you'll have to enjoy it from here. But the view is phenomenal, there's like a perfect view of Toronto and like the CN Tower. Um, truly blessed to be in this space, honestly. It's like the perfect room. And although I can't in this weather, um, I love to go hop on the roof next door and dance it out. Here's a little clip of that. Yeah, I also have this little sun catcher that makes rainbows all over my room, which is just beautiful. 
I made this drawing with marker in the summer and I just think it's so wonderful because I drew this in July and then I moved here in January and it was like a weird way of manifesting the space that I created for myself. Like the walls are the same colors, like I have the same plant that's shown in the picture, the candles, the crystals, like it's all just kind of a representation of what my space became unintentionally too which is kind of the fun part i also have this beautiful wall decoration and this wonderful statue both from value village i think it's so beautiful like feminine and elegant yeah i I'm, i love the stuff that i found at value village and yeah this is my space right now because i'm a gemini ass bitch i always tend to change my space around a lot and like it fluctuates and changes and adapts to how i change so um maybe you guys will see a new room tour in the future but Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys like my space. I hope you enjoyed me sharing it with you. Um, if you guys wanna come over for dinner anytime, you totally can. And again, I apologize for my voice being so hoarse and so deep, but uh, I lost my voice a few days ago. So thank you for bearing with me. Thank you for joining me today. Please make sure to check out some of my other videos and subscribe and like and all that good stuff. Um, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.